Here we go, guys. Idaho Vandals versus the USC Trojans. Number four ranked Trojans. Tro Trojans. We're going to be playing in LA. As you can see, they are a lot better than us overall on offensive, defensive, and overall. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're just better S straight top to bottom. They got Sam Darnold as their quarterback. I'm anticipating him having a really big game. Hopefully we can get a couple sacks, kind of disrupt them and make them get on a rhythm, but we'll see how that goes. I like... I do like the tradition that USC has. I'm not a big fan of, like, say, USC and other teams of, like, Alabama and Notre Dame and stuff like that. really don't care for them just because, I don't know, I just always like the underdogs, the little guys. Well, that's just my point of view. But I do like that, though. I do like the horse, and I do like the Trojan. But we'll see how we can do. I'm hoping we can slow the tempo down play our type of game style which is slower running the game control the tempo kind of grind it out wear the defense down but i doubt we could do that against usc because they are a lot better than us obviously so we're gonna pick heads obviously on the fucking coin flip and we lose all right great fantastic they're gonna kick it and we're gonna have the wind i don't really know so fuck it we're gonna pick this one so here is the very first play of the 2018 season for the Idaho Vandals. Kicking off to Brentley. Hopefully get a good return. Comes out and gets tackled around the 25-yard line. There we go. There's me. First game. New goals. Let's go. We got this. I'm sorry about the commentary in the background of the game. I forgot to turn it off in the first drive. So after this drive, I won't be playing anymore, if you guys were wondering. We got Sanders opening up with an eight yard run, starting off great with the first play of the game. I need that consistency game in and game out from him this year. Coming up, we're gonna do another run play. We're switching it up. I was I was gonna run the counter to the left, but there was there was stacked heavy left. And we got our very first first down due to Sanders of this season. Let's go. We can do a little play action now. Hopefully we can get a good reaction and we throw it out to I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I'm not even going to pronounce it, <clears throat> but we're going to go back to the read option. Hopefully they bite on the running back here, which they do. So we run up. Matt Linen doing a great job. There we go. There we go. That's what we need. He's not the fastest guy, but he can do get the job done. As you can see, he's got some good accuracy and some good power. He'll dump it off to Sanders and get a nice 22-yard reception. We got Duckworth, the second string running back. He's more of a power guy, if I remember right. So we'll have to use him more in the red zone if we can. Sanders here plowing for getting another five yards Doing a good job. I'm really I'm hoping that this is that this series turns into something that's really enjoyable as you can as I was just talking Sanders scores the very first touchdown of the season and Hopefully we can get many more because he is a very good running back He's got some good speed and he does get a good good amount of power behind him There's Sam Darnold on the USC offense just marching down the field little dump off passes I'm trying to blitz to try to get him a little little shook up to see if he can make him screw up a little bit but it's not working so he's picking us apart and the one time I don't blitz it would have been the best time to he throws a nice 20 yard strike to somebody just ridiculous man here he dumps it off and what happened to the game audio there we go hmm, there's no game audio on that's weird whatever <laughs> Here, empty set, under the gun again. I hate when they run this play because it's always some little dump off pass over the middle again. But she throws it way out to Bur Burnett, which is a nice little three yard reception. I think they do it again, but it's on the right side now. <clears throat> nope, they throw it over the middle to Mitchell Jr. It's just these small short passes of six, seven, five yards. It's just what is USC is good at and it just bothers me because it's almost unstoppable in this game. <clears throat> We're back out on offense. Sanders here getting another great eight yard rush. He's doing good. He's doing good in the first two drives. Here we're going to dump it off to our big tight end, Waisaki, who is probably going to be an All American his senior year. I'm not going to lie. He's already 79 overall and he's a sophomore. He's going to be a monster down the road because he can block and he can run. So Waisaki dumping him off again. He's got the power, showing, showing the power, breaking that tackle from USC. Here, I was going to do a little option play. 
but they were reading that up. So I just handed it off down the middle to Sanders, which gets another seven-yard gain. He's doing good. I feel the momentum. We're keeping the consistency. We're marching down the field. We're doing good, controlling the tempo. And then over here, I screw up. <laughs> I went to throw it to square, and it went off to circle, which... No, I went, I went to throw it to square, and I went to triangle because of the accuracy because I was on the run. But it happens, whatever. Here I see that they're blitzing, so I kept the screenplay. I was hoping I could get it off, and Sanders could outrun the defensive end, but he just couldn't, man. If he would have, I could have made that second guy miss. It would have been a nice, nice probably first down. But here, go for the field goal. It's a 44-yard field goal, and we make it. I was actually surprised with our freshman kicker. They were wanting us not to kick it, but I ended up going for it. And as you can see here, Fitzgerald for Michigan, not Michigan, Mississippi State is playing like trash. 9 of 25, two touchdowns, but they are down by seven. And Oklahoma State doing what they do best, throwing the ball. Sam Darnold going back to pass again on his second drive, and I almost had him sacked. He had all day. I'm surprised he didn't find anybody. I was, that was good coverage on the secondary on their part. Just couldn't get enough pressure. <clears throat> We're going up. <clears throat> God, this formation to the tight bunch, the four wide tight bunch, is just just another headache to deal with because it's it's I don't ever know how to read it. But here goes the running back for USC, Jones the second breaking a tackle. He's a slippery little guy. He's not that bad in real life either. But here, <laughs> Bentley coming in with the hammer, just laying it down, showing them what we are. I had a feeling right now too when I was playing this game. I could just feel the moment. I could just feel it. Like we're having we're having big hits. Here's another big hit by Bentley. We're doing good. We're cons like I was like, man, we can even if we give up three, that'd be okay. That's fine with me. Here's Donald sneaking out, and I wanted to, I wanted to hit stick him so bad because I know I know he probably would have fumbled it, but nope. Gets the first down, dumps it off to Peters now, who fights forward for a 22-yard gain. Here, Donald going back to pass again, and we're able to sack him, which I was surprised he honestly didn't score that. But Donald's going back to pass in the hurry up. And he dumps it off to his wide receiver. No, his tight end, Petty. Tyler Petty. And here I was like, oh, man, we could got seven seconds. I was through a pick. Seven seconds of the game, and I threw a pick before half. And I was thinking, what was I thinking? I, had, I was like, man, we get two big plays, gain some yards, and we could possibly kick a field goal or go for the Hail Mary. And that's my mistake. I threw a bad pass, and USC almost scored a touchdown off of it. Just, man, that makes me mad. But here's, you know, whatever his name is, I'm going to call him Daniel. The 22-yard reception wide open because I tried blitzing again, trying to get that trying to get that pressure to him, but that didn't work out so well. Jones is second here, breaking a tackle on the defensive end and plowing forward for a six-yard gain. Sam Darnold going back to pass all day. And Clark, Darwin Clark. You had a pick, man. That would have been a pick. Here's a little screen pass they dump off. And Lesney. Lashley. Or, yeah, Lashley. Just with the big stick, man. Big stick. Here's Sanders again going up the middle. Gets a nice gets a nice 9-yard, 10-yard gain. They get a second in inches, which is manable. He's averaging 5 yards carry, which is good. Which is good. I like that. Here's Matt going with the, another read option. He does really, really well. Gains about 8 yards. Giving it off to Sanders again. Another nice little run. Cuts it back for an eight-year game. He's doing good. We're, we got the momentum. We're doing good. And they bring the blitz on that play. I knew they were blitzing. I was hoping I was hoping my linemen or they would bite on the play action. But the more I look at that play, there was there was five, seven, seven blockers. Yeah, whatever. They got the pit. And then here, that was a bad accuracy pass on Bats. Matt's part is just ridiculous, man. Just a bad, bad pass by him. Tried throwing it over the middle, but it didn't work. Giving the ball back to Sam Darnold. We're down by six, start of the fourth quarter. And he dumps it off to his wide receiver. Number four, I'm pretty sure that's St uh, Stephen Mitchell. Gains a 22-yard gain again, unfortunately. He dumps it off to, oh, God, <laughs> Daniel for another seven-yard gain, dumps it off to Green. They're just nickel and diamond us down the field, and it's it's just so frustrating because you know that if they weren't throwing this stuff, you could stop them. But here's another screenplay by Jones, and that that was a block in the back. That was a straight block in the back by one of the linemen, but whatever they don't call it. 
They score again. They're gonna go for two here. Thought they were gonna run it, so I ended up splitting the line, spreading it out a little bit, and we get the sack. Hale gets the sack. So that's the second sack of the game, which I'm happy for because USC's line is really good. So we're back on offense again. We got kind of we get down by 12, with about five minutes left. So I'm trying to hurry it. Another bad pass by Matt. I was gonna throw it inside of the slant, gain about an eight-yard gain, and yeah, that pass right there is also my that one's my fault. I didn't see the corner playing zone there. It was almost a pick. Should have been a pick. Matt there making a smart decision, trying to throw it away. No one coming. They're just USC blitzes a lot, especially on third down. Here, we should have had the sack, but he falls forward. Five guys hit Sam Darnold, and he falls forward for a two-yard gain. That doesn't make sense. But right here, they tried doing a little dump off play again. They've been they ran that a couple times and ended up running man to man. I switched it at the last second to man to man, and I ended up getting them there because that's all they've been doing is doing little short plays off to the side. And I've been trying to run zone to kind of mess them up, but Sam Darnold's just picking us apart in between the zones, and it's just almost impossible to stop. Like right there, man, it's just that's hard to stop. And here they do it again, and as they and then. Isaiah Thomas comes through, just lays the wood, doing a good job again, kind of setting that little screenplay off so they can't run it again. And this should have been, I pressed, I pressed the triangle button. I tried going for the pick, but Brentley's awareness must not, must not be good enough, or he can't jump that well. But that should have been picked. I pressed it, and it just makes me so mad. But it happens. It's whatever. <clears throat> Petty, their fullback coming out, or the tight end, whichever one it is, and Brent. Brantley should have had that tackle too. I pressed square as he got on the block. Right there, I pressed square and it just didn't give me the diving animation because if it would have, we would have had that tackle for a loss. But here's Jones the second again going forward for falling forward, carrying defenders, and he does it again. He's it's like it's third and four and he just gets stopped two yards short and he just pushes forward for a five yard gain, getting the first down. At this point, the game's already over with. He's doing it again. It's just... Man, this is just the sheer power of USC is just hard to beat. That's kind of something we we got to work on. And at the time expires, they try to go for a little cheesy run to kind of rub the salt in the wounds, but it ended up not happening. But that's a good game overall. As you can see here, that was a very uh, close game in the first half. And towards the end of the second half, we started falling apart. Like usual. <laughs> Some, man, man. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. I thought we had a chance, but in the end, Sam Darnold's way too much, which is pretty realistic. But let's go over to player stats and see how we did our first game. <sighs> Matt, line him. 8 for 16, 73 yards, two, in, two picks. One was completely my fault. The other one, he just underthrew it over the middle, and that was just... The dude was wide open, man. He was he was gonna be so open, but it's, it happens. Isaiah Sa Saunders, twelve attempts, fifty-seven yards. The average four yards carry. We mean, look at it. We we average good yards per carry. Don't get me wrong. And I was trying to chew the clock the entire game until towards the very end because I like playing slower. I like got a feeling that if we slow the game down, we have a chance of winning more. But apparently, it didn't work. Masaki, a tight end. Three, three receptions, 25 yards. He's going to be a good guy in the future. He's going to be really good down the road, especially his senior year. Um, Saunders, two two receptions, 14 yards. Anu War, Anu War, two receptions, 21 yards. <laughs> Man, these names are fucked. Whatever, Ruben. I'm going to call him Ruben. No good blocking. It's kind of kind of called for it. Denzel Brent Bentley, that's who I was mostly playing as. Eight tackles, eight solo. You do have a tackle for loss, that's Charles. And he did pretty good, he did pretty good. Thomas came up with two tackles for loss, which is really good. I think that was on the mostly on the left side, if I remember right, when they were trying to dump off little screen passes. And Coleman, her right end, had a solid game, five tackles. And Ed Hall had... Three tackles, two solos, one assisted tackle. I don't think we had any picks. We had one sack, if I remember right. One sack? Yeah, one sack. That's by Akilner, Charles Kukumi, or whatever. And I don't think we had any picks. Nope, no picks. 
whatever. We had one field goal, 44 yards. They were wanting me to go for it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to kick a field goal and see how good they do. And see, how, see if they can make it. It was 44 yards, man. That was, that was, a, good, that was a good kick. So keep that in mind. Coffee, 49 yards. Wow, that's a good punt, too. 49 yards on a punt. It's really good. It's really good. Overall, yeah, we got our butts handed to us. Sam Darnold was on fire. He was 27 for. He was. 27 out of 32, 284 yards, three touchdowns. It was, it was just short little dump off passes the entire game. That's all it was. Um, Jones is the second, 14 attempts, 62 yards. We kept him in check most of the game. Towards the end, that's when he started to get a majority of his carries. But overall, we kept him in check. And I don't think anybody else really did any good. And no one else did good rushing. Wide receiving wise, Daniel, I'm not even pronouncing that last name. <laughs> Seven receptions, 58 yards. He had a big game, so did Mitchell Jones, which should be, he's an All-American, five receptions, 84 yards, and blocking light, yeah, they got, they, yeah, they just dominated us up front, completely, just, yeah, overall just dominated us, there was nothing we could really do about it, defensive wise, they did have two picks, which I'm pissed, well, one of them was my fault, I think that's, the, yeah, one Jones, Jack Jones got that pick at the, and just before half. I was thinking to myself, I don't need to throw this, man. I don't need to throw it, but I, I threw it. Threw it anyways. But overall, they did good. Kicking-wise, they did really good. And they didn't even punt the ball because we couldn't stop them. But that's, that's kind of how the cookie crumbles. That's kind of how the cookie crumbles. As you can see here, Alabama lost their opening game to Virginia Tech 31-28. to Iowa State pulled away. Missouri won. Iowa, the boys back home, 34-3 <laughs> over Northern Illinois, which should be expected because they're a max school. <laughs> Purdue beats Cincinnati, which is very shockingly surprised, and a thundering herd blows out Miami University of Ohio. As you can see, we outrushed USC. We had 73 passing yards. It's horrible. That is horrible. We were in it right up until just after half, and that's when we kind of fell apart. Saunders. Player of, the, player of the game for us on the offensive wise. Sam Darnold over there in the offensive wise. That's that'd be anticipated. Looks like we got conference player of the week, which I have no idea. I mean, our defense should be pretty decent. But our next game is against the 0-1 rivals of Boise State. In real life, they don't play anymore. Boise State has refused to play them since Boise left the WAC and everything. But if you look at us, offense is garbage. <laughs> It is so bad, but we did play USC, and who did Boise State lose to? Got no injuries, thank the Lord. Anybody else in our country? Washington State lost? Come on, man, you're supposed to be ranked. You're supposed to be good. They lost to Washington by four. Washington has Browning, if I remember right. Ooh. It's not good for us. How was their team? Prime pin? Yeah, he had a good game. Yeah, they all, they all had a good game. Solid game overall. Go on over, and we're going to check out the top 25. Let's see who's ranked number one since Alabama lost. Probably going to be like Ohio State or something. Yep, Ohio State number one. They beat Buffalo. They blew Buffalo out. Florida State and USC bumped up to third after beating us. Clemson blew out Georgia 27-0 to zero at Georgia. Wow. Wow. Alabama lost to Virginia Tech, as we've seen earlier. Auburn squeaked by Washington State by two. That's, yeah, Washington State's going to be a tough team to beat. Uh, Miami squeaked by FAU by three at FAU. That's also a shocker. And Virginia Tech only went up fucking three spots at 28 after beating Alabama. Wow. Rip, dude. UC at USF had a close call. So did Kansas State against FCS and Tennessee. Wow. Both had close calls against FCS schools. That's quite a shocker. And we'll go on down to the conference standings and see who everyone else won. I don't think anybody else played except us. No, everyone else did. BYU played, and they probably lost to... I don't even know who they lost to. Let's find out. Uh, they lost to Virginia. Kind of bad. They played Texas, which will probably lose this next one. And Notre Dame lost to Te Temple. <laughs> Notre Dame's got a tough, tough schedule coming up ahead. But at least it makes me feel a little bit better because <laughs> everyone else lost. Whatevs. Let's see how we do. Players of the week. Let's see who else. Who got player? 
I had to be on the defensive end. Iowa State's free safety. Three picks. Wow. Way to go. Way to bring, way to bring them picks in, man. We don't have an independent cut. Yep, that's what I was thinking. We had to have defense. There's no way we had a running back. Before, wow. Yeah. Notre Dame didn't do shit against Temple. So that's it. Um, next week, or in the next video also, we will be playing... Boise State and doing a little bit of more recruiting and hopefully we can pull off a fucking win against our rivals Boise 